Hi. Today we are going to add some threads to this wheel to make it look really off-road. We start by selecting a cross section and copying it and create a new object out of it. Select the new object and in edit mode extrude. This will be the base of the threads. We will cut out the threads of this shape. Next step is to create the threads themselves. And we are doing it by adding a plane here. Oh. We go to object mode and, and we add a plane as a new object. Scale it down and copy over a couple of times. Four is what I'm looking for. Scale it up and join them. Go to edit mode. And add some more detail. And tweak it a little bit. Now this is an interesting part. Just origin to geometry. I have to copy this, but I make a linked copy. The shortcut for it is Alt-D. So I create a linked copy of it. And take this linked copy and mirror it. Now I could press X or Y but I want to mirror it on both axes at the same time so I press Shift Z and press Enter. Now select both of them and make a linked copy again of both. And now if I select this go to edit mode and select its elements like vertices or anything it will change on all of them so it's time to create the pattern so this is really up to you what kind of pattern do you want you can create an off-road pattern you can create a, a formula one wet tire or anything uh, which you looked up any pattern you looked up on google it's really up to you it takes a little time to create a, a good looking pattern so now i will jump to a ready pattern which I previously made because I don't want to waste time by tweaking it. Anyway you will you will get the idea very soon and uh, the only thing is what's important that these gaps here normally they, they shouldn't be too big or too small and, and you can do pretty much anything really and as you can see you, you can create some really crazy patterns too it's really up to you so now I delete this and here is my pre-made pattern I use the knife tool to cut these parts out and then these two so I select one of these just this one and I move it to the layer where I want to work with it scale it up so it will, it will be roughly the same size as the, as the base and uh, now I can start using my knife tool to cut out this from the base using this uh, as my guide. And go to edit mode and we can start cutting. When my guide is too close to an actual edge I will just use the edge. So I cut only here and then continue from here. So the first one is ready. Go to the second one.
Okay. Seems like this is it. And now I will select my newly cut faces. And create a new object by separating them. Top view. And I can move this new object the center of my wheel here so now yeah not this funny they do the same from top view yes exactly here I snap the cursor to the center and the origin to the 3d cursor go to edit mode and make an inset here I wish I would be more precise with the cursor and uh, move them upwards the normal uh, depth for a thread is one and a half centimeter, but we don't have to be normal. Extrude and move. Let's say I want to move it here. And same thing here. Extrude and move. I want to scale it a little bit this way and uh, yeah if if I think this is too much I want to make this one a little bit shorter because I think this this is too long this is too much so I select this and some con uh, with, with the control and plus you can select these and I just delete these faces and I made a mistake I know sorry for that but from now on you know, I will display everything what I do and uh, you can ask questions in the comments and I will gladly answer all the shortcuts which I used feel free really yes it's here select these make it a little bit closer to this point yeah go to the top view and now I'm going to tweak it a little bit especially this one just move it a little bit so it's not that 90 degree sharp edge here maybe here this really looks weird so why don't I just eliminate these and add some angle here Add some angle here. Yeah. Let's say I'm happy with the result. Of course, I I, re I still feel that it could be tweaked even more. But I move it down so it I'm that just to make sure that there will be no gap between the thread and the and the actual tire. I scale it down something like this okay and now I will apply rotation and scale cursor to center origin to 3d cursor and now I copy this object shift D go to top view and then the newly created object is selected I mirror it the same 
way as before and instead of moving it around I will rotate it and the x-axis let's say I'm fine with the gaps here so I have two objects now I join them together and uh, I add an empty in the center let's name it something really thoughtful and uh, add a modifier to my newly created threads which is an array modifier instead of relative we use the object offset side our newly created empty and let's rotate it on the x-axis until I'm happy with the gap which I have here yes I'm happy so back select this object and instead of two we create a lot of them so they will nicely hug around as you can see the gap here is slightly bigger than I want so let's select the empty again rotate it among, along the x-axis and while pressing shift we can finally tune how big we want this and yeah this is it we created the tire but we want this to be smooth so smooth shader and another modifier which is the edge split modifier edge split is not a magical tool sometimes it leaves some errors so if you want to use it in a production uh, set you might want to make the splits by hand I don't need this anymore and uh, if you decide that this is what you wanted you can add your modifiers apply your modifiers and then select these two objects which is the rubber and join them together we don't need the empty anymore here we are we can select this and add some darker material which is resembling closer to a rubber something the diffuse must be darker specular should be lower intensity and yeah if we would render it now it will show us something which looks like an off-road wheel another thing uh, sometimes these wheels are put on a vehicle and a vehicle has a weight and it kind of distorts the wheel at the bottom you can easily achieve that uh, effect if you add a lattice to the scene which is bounding your wheel and to the wheel you will add the lattice modif uh, yeah lattice modifier later so I make it like this big add some details and I will only modify this bottom part select my rubber and add this lattice modifier and select my lattice so now if I modify the points of this let's say I want to scale it a little bit outwards and move it a little bit up like this and these guys even on more up like this yeah something like this okay it's a bit too flat but you get the idea you can hide the lattice go to the side view and I should unhide the lattice select everything here except for the ground and move it closer to the ground and the funny thing is that now if you rotate it you can see that okay if 
you rotate it around its median point you can see that it nicely distorts where it should touch the ground it's really handy when you are using it on an animation but you have to be careful not to move the lattice relative to the wheel because it will distort your wheel like this so let's render it again and uh, this is it thank you for watching see you soon with a new tutorial I'm planning to create more tutorials which will be around the topic of creating a, a buggy so it will be around, uh, about uh, some pipes and uh, joints, engine, whatever.